Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, this past year, I was contacted by several child care operators in the state of Kentucky who expressed to me that they were being unduly harassed by the Kentucky Department of Human Health Resources of the state of Kentucky ran by Andy Bashir. Now those of you that maybe not know exactly how Kentucky government works, there are all kinds of departments, I think there might be 19, I'm not sure exact, the exact number. I, of course, we'll know soon, won't I? But the bottom line is, is one of those departments is a department that governs daycares, uh, child care centers. And what they started sending me was all these email communications and everything else. And let me sum this up just very briefly for you. First and foremost, do you believe that our governor decided that child care operators were not, were not necessary during the COVID pand pandemic shutdowns? How could they not be essential? You need those, workers need those, in order to leave their children to go off to work. I mean, it's truly crazy. And then they had all these issues when they did reopen about like masks on everybody over two years old. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? And what happened is, is I've seen these emails to the department and they, they just get ignored because all the state workers are working remotely and they just ignore these people. Then what they do is they start harassing them. Now, it should be. When I'm governor of Kentucky, remember my motto, less government, more freedom. My idea of supervising child care centers is to make sure that people are safe, the kids are safe, no doubt about it. But to work collaboratively with them to make sure that they prosper and they provide good child care and they're economically successful too. You can't treat these places like they're bad, evil people. Anybody that opens a child care center has got to be some kind of an angel. Some type of a, I mean, anybody. And by the way, all of these uh, people that I've been dealing with are women, okay? These aren't some kind of pervy people. These are good women. And you know what? They've been harassed by the state, ignored by the state. This governor once hit mandatory preschool. Why? Hurt the private daycare centers even more. So I just want all you daycare, child care operators out there, I would love to have your support. I've been receiving all this information from some of your leaders, and I understand your concerns. You'll have a friend in me in the governor's office. And by the way, they can't communicate with these state bureaucrats. You could be able to text and call me personally. I mean, it truly is unbelievable how state government treats people. And it shouldn't. And by the way, I want you all to know, those of you that work in state government that know this and you're a good worker and you agree with me, I don't have an issue with you. I'm not going to broad brush every state worker and every state department, okay? We got to have public employees, right? At the, pub, at the city level, county level, state level, federal level. We got to have federal employees and we want good ones and hard working ones and common sense ones. I will not stand for mean, nasty, vindictive, Turf protectors. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Child care operators, I hope you have a great day.